I think I actually used ChatGPT for something other than just a search engine. And yeah, I was just as surprised as you probably are. For a long time, I honestly thought it was only good for rewriting text or telling you things you could already find online. But in this case, it actually helped me solve a problem that's been annoying me for quite a while, actually. In need of custom parts? With JLC CNC, getting them is easier than ever. Just upload your 3D design to their platform and get an instant online quote which updates in real time as you pick materials, finishes and specs. From there, their in-house production team takes over, using cutting-edge CNC technology to bring your designs to life. Whether it's precision milling, detailed turning or expert post-processing. And when it's done, they ship directly to your door, anywhere in the world. Fast, reliable and ready to use. I was working on making this impact wrench and finding the quarter inch anvil itself wasn't that hard. That part was actually pretty straightforward. The real headache was the bushings. I can easily spend hours, sometimes even days, trying to find bushings with the right dimensions. And well, most of the time, what I buy ends up being almost right, but well, not quite. And that's how I ended up with a pile of bushings like this. Some of them look perfect at first. This one, for example, looks absolutely fine, but when I tried to fit it, it turned out to be just a bit too big. And since I don't have a lathe, I tried grinding it out by hand, and that was a huge mistake. I took off material unevenly, which made it off-center. So even though it looks okay, it's completely useless now. And this isn't even a one-time thing. I've got several parts like this, which are almost right, but not usable at all. And well, all of that means wasted time, wasted money, and a growing pile of parts that I'll probably never use. That frustration, along with a few other problems I'll talk about a bit later, is what pushed me towards ChatGPT. And honestly, it wasn't even planned. I actually said it couldn't do anything useful for this kind of work. But I started describing the problem anyway, just talking through what I was trying to do. And that's when it clicked. It's not just a search engine. It's actually pretty good at helping you think through a problem, although you have to do most of the thinking yourself. If you have access to CAD software and you explain things clearly, ChatGPT can actually help with designing parts for CNC machining. And without that, I have no idea where to even start. I don't have an engineering background or any formal training, and being able to describe what I want, what needs to fit where, and what matters most makes a huge difference. That said, it's definitely not perfect. It does make mistakes, and you still need to double check everything. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But for now, let's use the Parkside Performance D3 Impact Driver as an example and look at how to make a bushing that lets us fit a combination angle. And just keep in mind that the measurements I'm showing are only rough guides. If you want the best results, you really need to measure the original bushing as accurately as possible. Small differences matter a lot here especially with rotating parts and impact loads. So, for this mod, I decided to go with a two-step bushing instead of the basic one. The main reason is supporting the anvil better, as the combination anvil is heavier than the original. And with a straight bushing, all that extra load is supported in just one spot. A two-step design spreads the load out, keeps the anvil better aligned, and helps the tool last longer. On top of that, a two-step bushing helps stop the anvil from rocking under load. With impact tools, even a tiny bit of play can turn into a big problem over time, especially when you're hitting high torque again and again. Supporting the anvil in two places just makes the whole setup feel more solid and much closer to something you'd see from the factory. So yeah, it's a bit more work to design and make, but it's worth it. You get better support, you compensate for the extra weight of the new anvil, and you massively increase the chances that this mold will actually hold up instead of wearing itself out after a short time. Now, once you've given ChatGPT some information about your CAD software, and you ask it to give you the instructions in Python so you can just copy and paste them straight into something like FreeCAD, which is what I'm using, there's a good chance you'll, well, run into some issues. That's completely normal though, especially if this is your first time doing something like this. The nice thing is that most of these errors are very easy to fix. You can usually just copy the error message, paste it back into ChatGPT, and it will correct the code for you. Or, if you know what you're doing, you can fix it yourself. Either way, once it runs without errors, you really need to take the time to carefully review what you've actually made. And this is where things get important, because as you'll see a bit later on, there was already a problem in my model that I completely missed. 
This was my first time trying something like this, so I didn't even know to look for it. But now that I've pointed it out, you'll know exactly what to check for. What happened was that I accidentally ended up with a chamfer running between the start and the end of the bushing. That means there's about a 1mm difference between the opening at the back and the opening at the front. Once you know it's there, it's actually very easy to spot, but at that time I just, well, didn't notice it. So the takeaway here is simple. Explain exactly what you want, check them all carefully, and don't assume everything is correct just because the code runs. If you do that, you can avoid mistakes like this and will get much better results right from the start. The next step is to take your design and turn it into something real. In my case, I did this through a sponsor I mentioned in earlier videos too, JLC CNC, a CNC machining company with an online platform for exactly this sort of thing. Basically, you upload your design, choose your specifications, and pick from options such as material, finish, and tolerances. They take care of making the part and shipping it to you. And if there's any problem with your files, someone from their customer service will get in touch to sort it out quickly, which is really reassuring. After that, you can track your order at every stage right from their platform, including shipping info. And then, in about two weeks from uploading your files, the package arrives at your door. In the end, I didn't just order one bushing, I actually ordered quite a few. The idea behind that is that CNC made bushings have much tighter tolerances and are far superior to anything I could make or readily order. So I've been steadily replacing the bushings on my own tools with these. I even ordered a brass bushing just to see how it would look, even though brass isn't really ideal for an impact tool. I also got a washer and a bushing for the Parkside Performance A1 impact driver, and if you want to modify that one, this is absolutely the best way to do so. There is no way you can get a washer and bushing to fit that well on the anvil unless they've been custom made. It just won't happen otherwise. Now let's take a look at one of the two-step bushings. The finish on this is fantastic, and you can see the two chamfers which make it fit really easily. I've already explained the concept, but let me show you in practice. By giving the anvil another 5mm of bushing to sit on, you get better stability and less stress on the internals, even with heavy use. And if you follow this method, it doesn't even stick out that much from the casing. So it's really the best way to do it. Sure, it's more expensive than the plug and play options, but it's worth it for the lifespan of the tool. I'm not giving you exact measurements on purpose because it's really best to have these made custom for your own tools. And finally, here's what happens if you don't pay attention and just trust ChatGPT blindly. You end up with something like this. I think there's a chamfer running from end to end on the inside of the bushing. I didn't realize it would interpret my instructions that way, but the good news is that it's easy to avoid. Just measure everything carefully once you import it into your CAD software. This one's unfortunately on me because I was so excited about discovering this idea of custom parts that I didn't bother measuring them. But honestly, this brass bushing is such a nice object that I don't even mind keeping it and just admiring how shiny it is. So well, that's really it. These bushings are a fantastic fit and the finish is just excellent. I hope I've shown you that you can make your own even if you don't have much experience. The first one will probably take about an hour to work out, but after that, every other one takes no more than 5 minutes to describe to ChatGPT and import into your CAD program to double check itself. It's really that straightforward once you get the hang of it. I really hope this helps you out with your own projects, and I definitely recommend checking out JLC CNC, because this video would not have been possible without them.